Hello viewers in this presentation we will discuss about the FANS Application Controller Pilot Data Link Communications, CPDLC. CPDLC is expected to be used for routine operations in areas where the use of voice communication is considered not efficient or unnecessary such as high seas. CPDLC is a form of text messaging using data link that enables us to communicate with air traffic controller without the need for voice communications. CPDLC system uses satellite com to connect with ATC units on the ground. The controller is provided with the capability to issue level assignments, crossing constraints, lateral deviations, route changes and clearances, speed assignments, radio frequency assignments, and various requests for information. The pilot is provided with the capability to respond to messages, to request clearances and information. The pilot is, in addition, provided with capability to request conditional clearances and information from a downstream air traffic service unit. A free text capability is also provided to exchange information not conforming to defined formats. Data link connection management. Pre-flight phase, how to identify or notify that aircraft is capable of data link capabilities. The operator is responsible for inserting the following items in the ICAO flight. Plan, item 10, equipment, the letter, J, to indicate data link capability. Operator shall insert in the item 18 of the flight plan the letters DAT, followed by one or more letters as appropriate to indicate the type of data link equipment carried when J is entered in item 10. S for satellite, H for HF, V for VHF. M for mode S data link. Sequence of the CPDLC connection. The life sequence of a CPDLC connection according to the flight phases is normally as follows. Every CPDLC connection starts with initial logon to ATS facilities notification. After successful logon, the air traffic service unit holding the active connection with the aircraft is known as the data authority. When aircraft is flying it is transients between various flight information regions or control area. Prior to entering a control area, aircraft should have connection with that air traffic service unit. This new ATS unit is called Next Data Authority. Once logged into the next unit this connection will become active and the previous connection will terminate. This process keeps on repeating until aircraft reaches the destination. Now we will discuss this process in detail. A AFN logon is a prerequisite to any CPDLC connection. AFN logon provide an air traffic service unit with information such as the flight identification and the registration number. The AFN logon can be initiated by pilot during an initial logon or by air traffic service unit using the address forwarding process. Once Intel logon is established, the data link transfer sequence will include 1. Next data authority message 2. Address forwarding message 3. Contact or monitor message 4. End of service message To set the system up, pilot must first log on to the air traffic service unit. Each ATC unit has its own four-letter code, which pilot enter into the login page. The initial AFN logon is performed by the pilot manually sending an AFN contact message containing the four-character ICAO code of the air traffic service unit. An initial AFN logon is required when the aircraft does not already have a CPDLC connection, such as when the aircraft is preparing to depart from an airport and the first logon to a ground system is executed, or when the aircraft will enter a CPDLC area from an area where CPDLC services have not been provided. Logon is complete when an acknowledgement is sent by the ground system. Once logged on, ATC and pilot are able to send instructions via CPDLC messages instead of making a radio call. This reduces the volume of calls on the radio frequency and also reduces the chance of a misunderstanding. When receiving a CPDLC message from ATC, for example, a clearance to climb to a higher altitude, it pops up on a screen to the right of the PFD. To reply to the message, 
pilots simply press one of the three buttons in the flight deck, accept, cancel or reject. AFN logon can be performed by the ground air traffic service unit also, by sending the connection request message and is established when the connection confirm message is received from the aircraft. Air Traffic Service Unit CPDLC Message Composition ATC will select the flight to transmit CPDLC messages. A message window will appear where controller have pre-composed phrases and instructions. The free text option is also available to him. The ATSU with the current active connection notifies the avionics of the next data authority by sending a next data authority message. The purpose of the next data authority message is to advise the avionics of the next air traffic service unit to become the data authority. Present controller which is known as current data authority is the transferring unit which designates the next data authority. The purpose of this designation is to reduce the possibility of logging on to an improper data authority which is similar to switching to the wrong radio frequency in voice communications. The address forwarding process is invisible to the flight crew. The crew does receive an indication of a change to the active air traffic service unit following a successful CPDLC connection transfer. Initiated by air traffic service unit 1 which instructs the avionics to forward the aircraft's address to air traffic service unit 2. Address forwarding is used to allow next air traffic service unit to establish an inactive CPDLC connection. Contact message is sent by Air Traffic Service Unit 1 just prior to sending end of service message, approaching flight information region boundary. This will ensure the provisions regarding the use of CPDLC that a controlled flight shall be under the control of only one air traffic control unit at any given time. End of service message is sent by Air Traffic Service Unit 1 at fur boundary. On getting end of service, Avionics will send a disconnect message to Air Traffic Service Unit 1. And connection with Air Traffic Service Unit 2 becomes active now. Data link communication failure. When the controller recognizes a failure of the data link connection, the controller shall instruct the pilot to terminate the connection by selecting ATC COM off and then initiate another AFN logon. When the avionics or pilot recognizes a failure of the data link connection, the pilot shall terminate the connection by selecting ATC COM off and then initiate a new AFN logon to the current controlling authority. Data link services of CPDLC are Data link initiation capability. This service provides the necessary information to make data link communications possible between an ATSU and aircraft. The data link initiation capability service is executed prior to the first use of any other data link application. ATC Communications Management Service. This service provides automated assistance to flight crew and controllers for the transfer of ATC communications via voice and CPDLC. ATC Clearances Service. This service allows flight crews and controllers to conduct operational exchanges. Flight crews can send requests and reports and controllers can issue clearances, instructions and notifications. ATC Microphone Check Service. This service allows controllers to send an instruction to all CPDLC capable aircraft on a given frequency at the same time to verify that their voice communication equipment is not blocking a given voice channel. Departure clearance This service provides automated assistance for requesting and delivering departure clearances to aircraft at the busy airports. Downstream clearance service This service is provided for flight crews who are required to request and obtain clearances from air traffic service units that are not yet in control of the aircraft when they cannot get the clearance information via the current air traffic service unit through unit to unit coordination. Let's understand about the CPDLC message protocol. CPDLC message require no specific readback other than Wilco to a uplinked clearance. This is due to cyclic redundancy check. CRC is a four-character code at the end of every CPDLC message. CRC contains the sum of message header, contents and time stamp. If CRC is intact, the message has not got corrupted during transmission. Now we will discuss few important facts. 1. 
CPDLC is data link applications. 2. CPDLC is controlled by FMS in the aircraft. If FMS is unserviceable, it will cause the loss of CPDLC. 3. Maximum two CPDLC connections are possible. One active and one passive which is based on data authority. Active CPDLC connection with current data authority and inactive with next data authority. 4. CPDLC has inbuilt security mechanisms. If CRC is intact, the message has not got corrupted during transmission. 5. CPDLC connections are established at a system level, but it is intensely hands-on tool. 6. Crew aware of the ATS unit with active connection. Crew sends responses, requests and reports. 7. Address forwarding process is invisible to crew. 8. Use of CPDLC frees up the frequency and generally helps reduce miscommunication due to similar call signs or due to overlap transmissions. 9. CPDLC is only to be used in non-time critical situations. 10. Data link communication could lead to increased head down time and attention issues. Pilots will also be required to monitor multiple data link transmissions at a time requiring pilot attention. Increased head down time implies decreased time looking outside the cockpit and the time available to properly monitor other flight deck displays. Controllers and pilots will use CPDLC in conjunction with the existing voice communication. It is anticipated that future evolution of the system and procedures will result in the greater automation of functions for both aircraft and ground systems. Thank <laughs> you.